Mabuhay! My name is Fred Jock Dossel with Mabuhay Credit Union, and it is my pleasure to welcome you all back to another episode of Mabuhay Community Corner. On behalf of our leadership and staff of Mabuhay Credit Union, we would like to wish our family, our friends, and the entire Mabuhay community a very safe, happy, and of course, a prosperous new year. If you haven't visited Mabuhay Community Corner before, we are a vlog and a podcast that aims to highlight and to honor our very rich Mabuhay community. So far, we've had five extremely exciting and informative episodes. For episode one, we had John Hernandez, the president and CEO of Mabuhay Credit Union, a division of Nikkei Credit Union, talk about the genesis of our company. And we found out that this is a 70-year-old company that is serving both the Nikkei community and the Mabuhay community with all of their financial services needs. Our focus is to serve the Filipino-American community. Um, And therefore, when we come up with our initiatives and when we consequently have profitability, we try to use all those resources and give it back to that community. For episode two, we chatted with Kerry Lidseva from our auto buying partners at Car Scouts about how we make the auto buying process as simple and as safe as possible for our members. We specialize in people's budget needs and also availability and desirability for a vehicle. We do all the legwork for the members so they don't have to go to the dealership, negotiate back and forth. We arrange everything from um, meet and greet to test drives and also delivery of the vehicle. For episode three, we sat down with the famous Filipino artist, Eliseo Art Silva, who is the mastermind behind the Philippine Masters Collection here at Mabuhay Credit Union. I always wanted to, feel, to, to, to champion the, the Filipino story as a protagonist of the American narrative. Uh, and not reduce it to what we always say in the Philippines. You know, how do you, what's the Filipino experience? It could be reduced to like uh, 300 years in a Spanish convent and 50 years in Hollywood. So what does that mean? That our protagonist is not us. (laughs) We are framed by the Spanish and the American narrative. It's never about us. So that's why we, we are denying ourselves all this history from that perspective. And in that way, we're minimizing our potential. For episode four, which was our Christmas episode, we visited with Chef Romeo Garcia, the chairperson for the Long Beach Parole and Lantern Festival, uh, which we have had the opportunity to support and to sponsor for the last two years out of downtown Long Beach. Part of the importance of this tradition is that we don't lose it. That's true. And to find, you know, ancestral knowledge to pass it down so that way the future generations know about the parole and can pass it down. Trust, these are not easy to make, no. no I mean, the workshop all. is important, but once you master it, I mean, the community made such masterpieces. And most recently for episode five, we sat down with former credit union executive Conrad Tan, uh, who talked to us about Conrad Tan Realty and the different things that happens within the real estate and mortgage world. Uh, when there's a transaction, especially with real estate, that there's big sums of money be involved, th- people all automatically think that it's all just about the price. But I would say that price is just a marketing tool. If you're selling a house at a market value, you have X number of percentage of people that wants to buy it that will, are going to be interested. But if you sell it too high, then you're going to have less people interested. As we start a new year, moving forward, we will continue to spend time visiting with various members of our Mabuhay community. This will include our credit union select employment group or SEG partners, our association partners, and our other community partners here in the South Bay, Los Angeles area and beyond, along with our advisory council members and other influential members of our Mabuhay community at large. We'll also be discussing various historical events that are important to our community. This includes the Philippine Independence Day on June 12th, Philippine American Friendship Day, uh, which is celebrated on the 4th of July, as well as the entire month of October being Filipino American History Month. There are over 4 million Filipinos and Filipino Americans throughout the United States, including over 1.5 million in California, 
over 850,000 of which are in the greater Los Angeles area. So this is therefore very important for us to be able to share the stories of what we're doing to support our community. If you haven't done so already, please ensure that you subscribe to our social media channels so you'll get notifications about our future posts. In closing, allow me to share with you today's penny for your thoughts, which is courtesy of T.S. Eliot. Every moment is a fresh beginning. Salamat and mabuhay. Subscribe.